Thanks to that Number Pro to discuss how to use Number Pro to number a Word document. So we're going to open up Microsoft Word here. And um, two things I want to note is I already have an image file ready, which is, consists of tickets laid out uh, eight to a page. So what we need to do is we need to adjust our margins first off, get those all the way to the edge of the the page, both the top and the sides. And another thing to note is I've already created a number pro data file. I want to number 100 tickets that consist of eight tickets to a page. So we're going to insert that, that image that I've already created in another source. So we're going to click on picture and we're going to find those tickets that I already created located on my desktop. We're going to click on that, insert. And there they are, my eight tickets, eight up to a page. Now I created these tickets with a stub, so we're going to number them twice. Now we're going to do word wrap behind text and then hit enter. And now we're going to enter our text boxes. So insert text box. And we're going to choose the first option. We're going to inside hit delete. That'll get rid of that pre-formatted text. And then we want to come up and shape fill, no fill. We want that to be transparent. Same thing with shape outline. We want to hit no outline. Otherwise that box will print with a, uh, a square around it. Now we're going to position this right where we want it on our first ticket. And I want it right there under phone. That's where our first number is going to be on that ticket. Using the tab in the corner, the top. Now we can come over and have the home key and we can, we're going to center this text. We can change actually the font and we can change the size boldness, the color, anything we want. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to change it to red. Now we want to duplicate this all the way across. So we're just going to control copy, or I'm sorry, control C, and then control B, or copy and paste. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way across. You'll see the first one after you do your copy C, copy V, it looks like it disappears. It really has when it's still there. And you can see after you do the copy V, it, it, it makes another image a little bit further down. Just, just drag that one into place. Copy C, copy V. Click on the edge, drag that one into place. Make sure you click on the edge and drag, otherwise you're just going to be readjusting your frame. We're going to do this all the way across here. Now Microsoft Word is my preferred choice program to use to, to do numbering like this, but if it's all you have, then, then, then the Number Pro will work for you. So just keep that in mind that this isn't my first choice of, of, being, of numbering. Now is what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the top one again, and we're going to make a copy of that one. Control C, Control V. And so what we're going to do is I want... Uh, since these are going to be two-part tickets once they're, they're printed out and cut down to size, um, I want a number on the body of the ticket as well to match the ticket up at the top stub. So we're going to do this again. We're going to copy and, and paste all the way across so that we have eight more boxes for our other numbers. After we get this all lined up here, we're going to then merge our number profile, which we've already created. And if you don't know how to do that, there is another video on specifically how to create that number pro data file that we need. Like I said, we're doing 100 tickets, uh, 8 up to a page on this particular project. And we're almost done here. We're just going to create two more boxes here. 
Now there may be an easier way to do this. This is the way I've always done it. Like I said, num uh, Word is not my preferred program, so I'm not an expert at it, but this is, this is one way to go about it. Now that we have all our boxes done, just click outside the screen. Then we're going to do our merge. So we'll go mailings, start mail merge, and I use the step by step. Now, the document we want to use is letter. We're going to continue to step two. We're going to continue to use the current document. Step three, we're going to browse for our, this is where we're going to find the number pro data file that we created earlier. And it's output text. Open that up. And that's the file that number pro created. We can leave everything here as default. Default, default, okay. Now, Number Pro is going to give us this, or our window, our Word, I'm sorry, is going to give us this funky little error there. Just go ahead and click OK, 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 and get through it. And I'm going to explain why it did that, but that, that's normal. Now that we have that already merged, we're going to continue to the next step, and then we're going to click, we're going to use our More Options tab there. But first we want to click over the space that we created our first box. Hit the More Items. Number one field, insert. That's our first ticket, number one. And we're going to continue to do that. Click more items, number two, insert, close. Click on the space where the box should be, more items, and so on and so forth. You can watch us to get the hang of what we're doing here. We're just setting up our base numbering. Now we're going to do this for the stub portion of the tickets and then we're going to come back right after this and do it for the body of the ticket as well and as you may have already guessed when we do the body for ticket number one we're going to use field number one and for ticket number two we're going to use field number two now you notice when you click on the uh, the box for the stub there, it, it, it turned it differently than what we had it arranged, but once you click out of it, it will put it back to where we had it. That's just a little convenience there so that we can actually start inserting there, but that's normal. So after you click inside of it, it automatically turns it. And we're going to go all the way forward, do all eight of these. We're almost there. Now you can create your ticket in any program you want. It's easier for me to work in Word if I already have this the whole sheet laid out the way it is. Um, and I did that in another program, just saved it as a JPEG, and then we can just insert that image. Now you, you'll see that some of the numbers there didn't line up exactly the way they should, so you can go back and tweak these a little bit. Just click on them and, and then use your arrow key to space over, space up, and just come a little bit better. And as you'll notice, all the number one ticket of the stub matches the body, number two, three, four, etc. Just fix these a little bit. The ones on the very bottom row there didn't uh, get positioned very here, so we're going to fix these here. We just click, click on the edge of the box, and it'll change to a frame that we can use. Use your arrow keys to up and down or left or right. Two more here to go. Click arrow key. just a bit and click click arrow keys and in position all right that looks good for right now just for an example purpose click on our next step
And as you'll see, once you hit that next step, it's uh, automatically converted ticket number one, and then 14, 27, 40, and so on. And you can click the preview, and as you can see, the tickets will change in order that they're going to be printed on the sheet. Now, when you get down to uh, 10, 11, 12, and 13, it's going to give you that little error again. But don't panic. There's nothing wrong. Just hit OK. And then we're going to go back in reverse order. And once again, going back in reverse order is going to give it that little mail merge warning there. And that's fine. The reason is, is we're doing 100 tickets laid eight up to a sheet. So there's going to be some blank tickets. That's all that warning is, is that it's not finding uh, a ticket number for the, the very last few tickets, and that's normal. Now when you print, we're going to print as a PDF just so you can see, but you need to use the print option over there on the right hand side. Do not go up to file print. Like I said, we're going to do a uh, Adobe PDF here just so you can see. And you can print this directly out to your, your printer. You can save the documents. We're printing out to a, a Adobe PDF just so you can actually see what that file is going to look like all combined. And like I said, be, be sure to use the print command on the right side that's, that you see over there. It's highlighted with a box around it. Otherwise, if you use the print command up on, up on the upper left hand side of the screen, you're going to be printing page print command on the right hand side. Now this is going to take just a minute or two. My computer's been running rather slow, but typically uh, this would take just, just 30 seconds or so for a file this big, but this one may take just a few extra seconds here. This is a warning that popped up on my screen relating to something else, nothing to do with this project. Sorry about that. And we should be approaching the, the end of this here. Like I said, you could save this uh, total file out to be printed later, and it will retain the merged capabilities. Or you go ahead and print it out directly to whatever printer you want to print this on. Or you can actually do what I'm doing right now: is, is print it out, or can print it out, or save it as a PDF. We should be just about there. And we're almost done because it's giving us the error again that it found that blank field, and that's okay. So we're at page 10, page 11 here. Click OK. We're fine. Nothing wrong. It's just warning us that, uh, that, one, that, that those individual pages are missing a ticket. That should be the last page. And our file is complete. And this is how it looks page by page. As we scroll down, you can see that the numbers are changing on each sheet of paper. And as we scroll down to page 10, 11, 12, and 13, you'll see the lower uh, right-hand corner doesn't have a ticket number there, so you'll actually be printing some blank tickets. And, and that is exactly what we want. There's ticket number 100, and then we'll go to the next page, and you'll see there's going to be a blank spot where 101 would be, but we only numbered through 100. So that's what all those warnings were. Nothing to worry about. We just okayed it through them, and everything is fine. And there you have it. It's how to use Word and Number Pro together to number something like tickets. Now, you could do as many uh, 
items or documents to a sheet of paper as you want. Um, fairly simple. Word is not the easiest program, but there you go.